hand turned towards the heavens, the other towards the earth, the whirling dervishes of Konya dance to the rhythm of religious chants. They whirl for 90 minutes to feel the union of God with Rumi, one of the great spiritual figures of Sufism. And over 700 years after his death, the Turkish city of Konya is keeping this sacred poet's spirit alive through these ceremonies and they're resonating with visitors. A lot of people felt uh, what, what he gave to the world. A lot of people like his poetry because it was from the heart, from his soul. And in his soul he was with the God. So that's why it touched uh, a lot of, lot of persons. Nearby, the tomb of Rumi is housed in the Mulvana Museum. Here, many visitors, including Turks, Iranians and Chinese tourists, come regardless of beliefs to worship, meditate or simply discover Sufi culture. Mevlana is a science. Mevlana is a way of thinking and a way of life. People who want to be inspired by this come to find an inner peace. With around 2.43 million visitors in 2016, the Rumi Mausoleum is the most visited museum in Turkey, attracting even more visitors than the Topkapi Palace in Istanbul. And local cultural authorities have been working hard to attract tourists from across the globe. We do a lot of advertising and go to a lot of tourism fairs in Turkey and abroad. We make our Konya known. In any case, Konya means Mevlana. When you say Konya, you think of Mevlana. Although the dervishes were technically banned in Turkey in 1925, some dervish lodges later reopened as museums. The shows have now been reauthorized by the Turkish authorities, who understand the interest from foreign visitors. And so, the dervishes of Konya will whirl on, bringing more visitors every year.